The day has arrived. Our first apparel event for season three, Veiled Tactics. And I think we're all pretty excited about this one. Let's see what's inside. Entering dog zone. So we got a couple of new surprises today besides the fact that the apparel event has gone live. To access it, just go into your seasons menu and you can see here that you have two weeks and six days. So basically three weeks to complete this. It is quite a grind. We're gonna go into the details there on that, but there's plenty of time and they're basically guaranteed drops as long as you complete it within three weeks, which most of you will probably be able to do. However, some of us division dorks like to complete this ultra fast in just a few days. So the way apparel events work is you have to earn keys and you can earn keys every four shade levels. And that's why it's a little bit grindy. That's a lot of XP. And you can also purchase keys using premium credits if you'd like. They gift you a couple of keys to get you started. If you purchase the season pass, you get extra keys. To take a look at all the outfits, just go to the store and then click on outfits. And then you're looking for Veiled Tactics. And here we can inspect all the good stuff. So if you can click in, you can look at each individual item as you see, or get a complete view here and so if you inspect it you see this is actually going to be my favorite and the one that i'm going to be farming for i think it's pretty badass i gotta say and you know me i love sniping and this one is definitely on theme i love it all the way around even the backpack it looks uh ultra like ninja kind of samurai uh, probably more ninja like i don't know what those details are in his backpack it looks like a breather i don't know what they are what are those do you suppose oh their antennas maybe for communications. So they did this outfit a little bit different. So normally you get all of the components, pants, shirts, and whatnot, but this one's a little bit unique. Uh, maybe they're trying something different, but you get the backpack and then the gloves, so you can swap those out, but the rest of it is a single outfit. It's called the Scrim Master Uniform. So this will probably be stuck in your outfits area, which isn't a problem, but you won't be able to part it out. So you're gonna have to run the whole thing, including the mask. I mean, I prefer it to be completely broken apart so that I can mix and match, but that's cool, whatever. So this one's called Handle, and it's pretty cool. I like that chest piece. The shoulder pad detail is pretty cool too, I gotta say. Got an extra armor plate on his backpack. That's pretty neat. Dagger right there. Look at his pants. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, the gun belt detail hanging down below. I like that. I like that a lot. Look at how metallic it looks. Really good texturing right there. And then I'm guessing that bag is for casings? Dispelled casings? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyways, this one is in four pieces. So you get the boots, the jacket, the backpack, and the pants. So you can mix and match this one. Those pants are pretty cool. Scully is a little more traditional military. He's completely parted out too. So hat, pants boots and green glasses so pretty cool and then rig um like this one too it's kind of reminiscent of something we already have we already have a similar jacket to this this is it's a different version of it though it's a little bit more modernized and then he's got um a rig vest we got some pants and the eye patch is cool and then the boots, I like how they're not laced up. So that's a cool outfit, I think. I like how he has a watch there in his chest pocket. Okay, so that's all of the outfits. So we get four. So if you see here, it says that the reward for completing all of the outfits are the sewer rat gloves. According to this, you're gonna be getting the whole uniform. Two separate rewards. This is the bonus reward, and the other one is just the reward. This will be in the uniform section. Unfortunately, I can't inspect that. Another thing you need to know is there's a couple of bonus things they decided to add. So if you go into the store you can purchase the drag off outfit which is i gotta say pretty cool looking let me inspect this yeah i like that i mean great detail on the chest yeah i mean you look pretty darn tough it's a very tactical tanky looking setup and it looks like uh, the jeans and all of that is part of it and I like the rogue watch on his belt. So I believe we're gonna be able to purchase all of the rogue agents from Warlords of New York outfits. And so this is the first one. So they're all gonna be purchasable throughout the season, I guess, one at a time, apparently. Also there's versions of the sewer rat you can purchase. So different skin variations. This one's called the snow rat and this one is called the sand rat. The James Dragoff uniform is also coming in a bundle. So for just a little bit more, you can get the Wall Street skin. It's a bloody Christmas. Quite expensive for that skin, I gotta say. If you buy it all on its own, 650, it's almost the cost of the outfit. I think they did a better job on the pricing of the outfit. 830 is medium high. If you compare that to what we purchased the recruiter outfit for, it's quite a bit better. I think the recruiter was over a thousand, wasn't it? So let me open up these apparel cash keys here for this event and see what they grant us. First up is the rig hoodie. All right, the sniper hoodie, got it. 
So I'll go ahead and equip that. And let's open up another one. Rig pants, we'll equip those. All right, we've almost completed this outfit apparently. Think it's all gonna be rig? The rig vest, it is. Oh my God, what are the odds of that? Should I be going to Vegas right now? Okay, this is gonna be different because it's purple. And the handle pants, I'll just accept that. But okay, so that's all my keys, but that's pretty interesting. So one of the things that's cool is, so if you go to the store and then the outfits, so if you go here and then click on contents, you can view everything, which is pretty cool. They added this, I don't know, last season or the season before that. This is a nice little convenience thing. So you can see what you're missing and uh, what your reward is gonna be. There it is right there, the complete outfit reward. Easier to see here. And then, um, so there's the high end and what did we just get? So we just got these things. So it's a very convenient little menu here. Anyways, banditos. So banditos, which one of these are you gonna be farming for first? Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito, and this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in The Division 2. And if you like builds like this, check out the recommended build video I have here for you. If you have anything you want to see covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible. Tux Nation wouldn't be without you. Follow me. I get it.